In this lesson, we'll be using the method of u substitution to evaluate the indefinite integrals. Analyzing the first integral, we need to determine what to let u equal. Notice how the numerator is a degree one polynomial, and the radicand in the denominator is degree two. Since the derivative of a degree two polynomial is equal to a degree one polynomial, we will let u equal the radicand of 10x plus x squared. Notice if u is equal to 10x plus x squared, the denominator is now the square root of u, which can be written as u to the power of one half. Also notice we're left with the quantity x plus five times dx. So the next step, we determine differential u, which is equal to the derivative of 10x plus x squared to the respect to x times dx, which is 10 plus two x, then we have times dx. So it may appear as if things are not gonna match up like we want, but notice 10 plus two x factors because there's a common factor of two. Let's go ahead and factor out the two, which gives us differential u is equal to two times. Let's go ahead and change the order. If we factor out two from x, we have x. If we factor out two from 10, we have five, giving us the quantity x plus five, and we still have times dx. From here, because the integral has the quantity x plus five times dx, we will divide both sides by two for a perfect match. So if we divide both sides by two, we now know that one half du is equal to the quantity x plus five times dx, which means we can replace x plus five times dx with one half du. So now let's write the integral only in terms of u. The quantity x plus five dx is equal to one half du, let's factor out the one half, and then we have du and then we have one over the square root of u, again, because u is equal to 10x plus x squared. Let's rewrite this as one half times the integral of one divided by u to the power of one half du. In order to apply the power rule of integration, we now need to write one divided by u to the power of one half as u to the power of negative one half, which gives us one half times the integral of u to the power of negative one half du and now we integrate with respect to u, which gives us one half times u to the power of negative one half plus one is positive one half, divided by positive one half plus c. Simplifying further, dividing by one half is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of two over one, which gives us one half times two over one times u to the power of one half plus c. Simplifying, we just have u to the one half plus c, which in terms of x is the quantity 10x plus x squared raised to the power of one half plus c, or if we want, we could write this as the square root of the quantity 10x plus x squared plus c. And we often use big F of x for the antiderivative or indefinite integral. We can say big F of x is equal to the square root of the quantity 10x plus x squared plus c. This is the family of functions whose derivative is equal to the given integrand function. Looking at the next example, analyzing the integrand function, we have a degree two monomial outside the cube root, and we have a degree three polynomial under the cube root. And since the derivative of a degree three polynomial is degree two, we will let u equal the radicand of four x cubed plus nine. which means now this is the cube root of u, which is equivalent to u to the power of one third. And now we determine differential u, which is equal to the derivative of four x cubed plus nine to the respect to x times dx, which gives us 12 x squared times dx. Notice we have three x squared dx, not 12 x squared dx. So we have an option here. We could divide both sides by four so that we have three x squared dx on the right, or we can just solve for x squared dx. I'm gonna go ahead and just solve for x squared dx because it's not always easy to determine what to multiply or divide by for a perfect match. Simplifying now, notice how we have 112 du equals x squared dx. So going back to the integral, we can factor out the three and now replace x squared dx with 112 du. So we're writing the integral in terms of u. Again, we factor out the three, and then we have the integral of x squared dx is 1 12th 
du, and then we have the cube root of u, which is equal to 3 twelfths is 1 fourth, times the integral of the cube root of u is equal to u to the 1 third, du, and now we integrate with respect to u, which is 1 fourth times u to the power of 1 third plus 1, which is 4 thirds, divided by 4 thirds plus c, Dividing by four-thirds is the equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of three-fourths, which gives us one-fourth times three-fourths times u to the power of four-thirds, which in terms of x is the quantity four x cubed plus nine raised to the power of four-thirds plus c. Simplifying one more time, we have three-sixteenths times the quantity four x cubed plus nine, raised to the power of four thirds plus c, which can also be identified as big F of x, which once again is the family of functions whose derivative is equal to the given integrand function. I hope you found this helpful.